Megan here. Um, I haven't done a video in quite some time, so um, I'm here again to do a video. It's been since like before Christmas since I done a video. So um, the last time I was talking to you guys was the nine crow street thing, and I ended up winning that. So thank you so so much for everyone who liked my photo and who shared it and stuff like that because I was torturing everyone. Um, so thank you so so much for that everyone because I got a chance to win um, a photo shoot to style their next lookbook type thing. So that was really really fun because I got to go down to Dublin again and I hadn't done that in a while. And the photos were taken by Dean Ryan McDade. I styled them. And then there was like help from Mel and Emma and the two models were really, really great as well. They were they were a couple so they worked out really, really well and it was just different. It was like a different look and stuff like that, but it was it was really, really fun. So um yeah, 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 that was really fun. I'll link that below. And um yeah, it's in their like their their lookbook section of their website, so I'll definitely link that below so you guys can have a look at it. Cause it's really interesting and it was really really fun <laughs> um let's see i got loads of stuff before christmas and after christmas and before christmas um that's how long i haven't done a video which feels so bad not that like really much people care anyway but i like making these videos they're like they're good crack and they keep me from losing my mind from boredom <laughs> and um let's see i got a a giveaway i won a giveaway from cotton face vintage and i really 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 wanted to win because i got this amazing fedora hat and uh, i used it on one of my own lookbooks which i'll link below and i also used it on one of my own photo shoots which they loved because they were like oh yeah let us put it as your cover photo and stuff like that um so yeah i got this cool fedora hat <laughs> Um, yeah, I done the photo shoot with Neve Gannon, Eve O'Connor, Vicky McGarry. Uh, we had a big team of us, a few of the girls I know from Dublin. So if you ever want to do a photo shoot, like do hair or style it or assist me or something like that, definitely hook me up. Um, or rather, I will definitely hook you up. Just hit me up. <laughs> um, yeah, just contact me. Uh, via like Facebook or Tumblr or, or just leave a comment below or something like that. Um, what else did I get from Cotton Face Vintage? Yeah, I got this cool little like red slash gold um, bracelet and I got this like silver cuff with a chain which is pretty cool and I also got um, a unicorn earring which I don't know where it is right now but it's really really nice as well and for Christmas I got oh, I got a bunch of photography stuff actually um, I'm not even going to say that there's a favourite because I really really like both the things I got I got three sets of iPhone lenses I got a fisheye one, I know it's backwards but I'll just show you anyway I got a fisheye one, I got wide angle slash macro and I got uh, the telephoto lens and they're all by Photo Jojo and what you can do is when you take them on Instagram, you can hashtag photo jojo and then the lens that you're using and you'll get more likes and more followers and stuff like that. So that's pretty sweet. And these are the iPhone lenses. They're so tiny. <laughs> They're really, really small. I'll show you how they work. Basically what happens is you get like this little bag within each box of the lens that the lens came in you get this little bag of magnetic um, rings and then you stick the magnetic ring to the back of your iPhone like this just around the camera bit and what you do is there's a magnetic ring on the lens and you clip it on like so and obviously like there's covers and stuff on them as well to protect them and but all you gotta do is clip it onto the back of your iPhone like this and then you're ready to take your photos or whatever and when you go into your camera setting, it appears as it would as if you're using this type of lens. So it's really helpful to see then. Now, I love these and I think they're really, really fun. And I would suggest that anyone that wanted to get them to get them. But they're really, really small and they're really delicate. Like, I'm, like, afraid of taking them anywhere with me. I've only, I like, I've had them since Christmas and I've only started to take them out with me recently. 
um, because I was really really afraid for ages. But it's cool because you've got like you've got a back cover here to protect the back, which is just like a little magnet thing, and then you've got your little front cover to protect the actual glass of the lens. But I was like the other day, and I was like fumbling through the sand because I had dropped my fish eye lens, and I was just like, oh, for God's sakes! So like sand got it and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, sign sure I just dropped it in the sand or whatever, and that's like why I'm afraid to take them out because they can get like really easily scraped and stuff like that but then they're then again they're so fun and they actually you know they work really well with your camera because they make the photos look like really really nice and the lighting looks deadly and it sharpens it in like a non-digitalized way it sharpens it in a really like subtle way and you can just see the effects really really well within the photos and yeah I just I would I would suggest to get them they're on Photo Jojo. If you probably go onto my Facebook, which is probably I'm gonna link below, you'll see um I've tagged Photo Jojo a couple of times. Um and you can follow them on Facebook and they're I think they're an American company, so I bought these online and it was like sixty something dollars altogether because it was a it was a three pack which was like 50 something and then it was like 15 dollars for like postage and packaging or whatever so it came to like 60 something dollars so um i think it was well worth it i mean like i didn't have the money for ages to get them and then it was like christmas and then i you know like we had to pick presents so i picked these and you know it was the only i wouldn't have bought them otherwise if i didn't have the money you know but um I think they are well worth the money. They're fun to have, you know. They're like really fun to play a bite with. And what else did I get? I got the Diana Flash, which I've been looking to get for ages. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy that I got that. Um, it's got this like cool adapter thing. So this would be the adapter, and then here's the Diana, and then you obviously just adapt it like this, and then voila, Diana with the flash and um, then you get this other adapter for like um, I don't know different cameras obviously now I tried syncing it with my Canon 60D and I don't know if it's digital and this only has a film syncing mechanism but it didn't sync so I guess that's what would have happened but the Diana flash is cool because you can get these like little um, like filter like gel type things and it goes in behind this bulb here and it like bursts out like loads of like cool colored light or whatever like that and um i haven't i i tried out the flash before but it was like my friend's flash my friend's camera and it worked out really really f like really really nice really fun to use and it looked really fun and vibrant and stuff like that but I'm getting my first film developed with this, um, sorry, with this on Saturday because I'm bringing a whole batch of film down to Dublin to get it developed. Cause I've um, I've got like, oh, like four rolls of one twenty and then like three rolls of thirty five mil. So I'm just gonna bring the whole batch down to Dublin and develop it then and stuff like that. But it's really really fun to use actually, cause. I really really like the sound. <laughs> it's just like, um, people kind of freak out because they don't know what it is. They're just like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, oh, it's flat. Um, it tends to look like a Fisher Price camera. Um, the Diana does, especially if you're using the flat. But I think it's cool. Like I think it's really really pretty. But um, I was up in Derry with my friend in City of Culture because she had some designs at a fashion show and I was like taking photos with this and people were like is that like a toy camera and I was like oh I know everyone says it looks like a Fisher Price camera and I was like but it's actually really really expensive and I was like it's actually really really nice and then they were like all right all right, all right. you know they were like all right grand <laughs> so I was I was just like oh yeah Diana's cool it's like you know, the, the way I explain it to people, they're like, and what differs from that from 35mm? And I'm just, you know, I try to make it simplistic and I'm just like, 
oh, like, 35 mil is, like, this size, and 120 is, like, this size. <laughs> and I was like, and it's square. I love Diana, it's awesome. So, um, I'm really happy that I bought that flash and the iPhone lenses. And... <coughs> excuse me. Um, sorry, it's cold, so I, like, really can't breathe. Um, oh, I have a photo shoot coming up for Pretty Island Strength Tea. We have a new t-shirt coming out. So I'm going to use my friend slash model, Kaylee. Um, again, which she modelled for them before for the All Seeing Eye t-shirt. And now they're bringing a new one out for spring and summer collection. They're, they're bringing lots more like clothes out and stuff like that. Um, so that's coming soon. More photos for their clothing line. And it's going to be buying and I'm going to have to think of loads of really, really good ideas. But photos are coming soon. So if you like check my Facebook and my Tumblr and stuff like that, you'll see updates. And what else? I think that's it. What else have I been at? Oh yeah, I done um, some film stills for my friend Connor Flannery. He's in IDT and it's his graduate film. So I done some film stills for his film Waking Up With Mary. And it was really, really fun and really good experience. And they, I think, the stills, some of the stills are up on my Tumblr, which I'll link down below. So you can have a look at them. And any questions or queries or anything you want me to review or talk about, just let me know. And sorry for not getting to video as much, even though, like, I doubt anyone cares. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess that's it for me. So thanks guys for all the help and with the, that Facebook thing that time and I'll see you later. Bye.